Hey everyone, this is Rachelle. Thanks for clicking on my video. And yes, y'all, I am going to record a video using this speaker. So earlier, I had actually recorded a video and tried to upload it onto YouTube and YouTube wouldn't take the video. And it was a video about Harvey Weinstein. I know by now you guys have all heard that... Um, you know, he had to go into court and kind of answer for all the shit that he's been doing. So he went to court this morning, you know, and they charged him with rape and other sexual offenses, I guess. And they set his bond at $10 million. Now, he and his lawyers actually thought that the bond was going to be about $2 million. So they were a little surprised by that. But what that shows them, according to everyone who watched it this morning, is that these courts aren't playing with this man. With all the charges and all the things that he has done, they mean business. And they show that by what they charged him. Now, y'all, what's funny is this past weekend, I happened to watch a documentary about Harvey Weinstein. And... Y'all, what I can't believe is that he was able to go this long. There were women that, you know, sounded the alarm about him years ago. There was one woman in particular that um, I think she was an aspiring actress and she had an encounter with him where he asked her to, I, I guess, um, meet him for a meeting and she went to I believe that it was his his residence or a hotel or something and um, when she got there he was in the well he went in the bathroom and got in the tub and he wanted her to come in now she had to fight him off that night and you know he was chasing her all around the apartment or the hotel and you know trying to assault her and she was able to get away from him now this young woman right after that happened she went to the police and <clears throat> excuse me when the police found out who it was they wanted her to wear a wire and to catch him in the act you know propositioning her saying things out of the way and basically sexually assaulting her or at least attempting to so she did it she went back to you know the scene of the crime and it is recorded him you know um telling her to give him a massage i think he invited her to come into the bathroom uh with him and i think he was talking about her breasts all kind of inappropriate stuff so she got it all on tape but what happened after that when it leaked out to harvey weinstein and his team of lawyers what she had done what he did is he hired all kind of investigators and attorneys and they dug into her past and they found a couple things that they felt if they exploited it would make her less credible and they did that and what happened is when they did that it made the case go away now she was not the only one who you know went to the police complained about him but because of who he was in Hollywood you know he was up at the upper echelon of you know Hollywood giving people chances to become stars so he was untouchable and what I noticed with a lot of men like him that commit acts like this they are in power they are in positions where people are kind of afraid to to say anything now that also brings me to morgan freeman morgan freeman was just you know um accused of sexually assaulting um well they said it's 16 i guess accounts or reports or accusations or something against him now, y'all, I don't know. When, when, when men do things like this, or when I hear about celebrities that do things like this, like I said in past videos, we don't know what these people do in their, 
in their private lives, you know, in their professional lives, other than what we see, you know, on television or in movies. We don't know who they are. Now, I don't know if I necessarily believe um, the things about Morgan Freeman. And I don't say that like he couldn't be, you know, he couldn't be guilty, you know, because these other men were charged. Bill Cosby, one of them, and I'm going to talk about him too. But in Morgan Freeman's case, I have never heard anything about him, you know, being this type of person. Now, that's not to say that he isn't and that there there weren't reports that he was doing stuff to women. We just didn't hear it. Now, unlike Bill Cosby, because my mother told me that, you know, back in the day, they did hear stories about Bill Cosby and him doping women. So I, I had said this in another video because a, a lot of times you have to go back to people that were young during the time when Bill Cosby was a young man. And that's why I asked my mother, you know, these latest charges about Bill Cosby. Have you ever heard any, you know, talk about him back in the day? You know, doping women and you know and my mother said that she had and with Morgan Freeman I don't know y'all something something just tells me I, that in his case I, they would have to prove it I, something about him I don't know it, it just doesn't feel like it y'all one thing I do want to say is this I hope that these women that are cu accusing these men because there have been a whole bunch of men here lately who have fallen just from accusations matt lauer tavis smiley and it's been a few others that have fallen big names too but i hope they're telling the truth these women because what it does if they're not is it makes it bad for women who are suffering you know the 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 thing of being raped who are being sexually assaulted it makes it bad for them if they're lying you know and also it destroys careers you know i would hate to be the person that was accused of something like this and i was totally 100% innocent of it do you know how agonizing that must be if you didn't do it to have everyone look at you as a sexual predator now that's what i believe that harvey weinstein was because if you watch this documentary and i believe it was on pbs i'm not sure if you watch that documentary that i watch and those accounts that those women gave Harvey Weinstein was a sexual predator and he has some issues that he really needs to work out with the mental health provider because something is truly wrong with him now in the case of Bill Cosby y'all I'm sorry I I believe it you know I'm going by what my mother told me and just using my common sense now what I don't agree with let me back up is the woman that helped you know tear him down help you know get him um accused and you know what am i trying to say y'all i can't even think the one that brought him down the reason why i say that is because she received a settlement years ago when she accused him but what she did is she joined forces with these other women that were accusing him and with her testimony and the fact that she received a settlement i think that really helped get um bill cosby caught i really do you know convicted and charged and you know saying that he was guilty i think that really helped now like i said i actually believe that he was guilty um i just have a funny feeling about the lady uh, that you know have received the settlement it's almost like she's double dipping y'all if you know what i mean but anyway getting back to morgan freeman harvey weinstein and even bill cosby and you know people like r kelly and 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 folks like that if these men are guilty they need to be brought to justice 
you know, the statue of limitations, there is one. But when you are a person who has suffered from rape or sexual violence against you, there is no statute of limitations for you. You remember it every day of your life. You remember what happened to you. To the day you die, you will never forget what happened to you. So I think it's wrong for people to say, you know, well, it happened so long ago. Why are they bringing it up now? I was one of those people. But then when I really thought about it as a woman, and I know women who have been brutally raped. I know women who have been molested. I even know men that have been molested. And one thing that I know that they have all told me is that they would never forget it, that that experience changed their lives. It made them think differently about the opposite sex. It, it tortures them, you know? So because of that, I don't feel that there should be a statute of limitations. I don't feel that people should say, well, she should have talked about it, you know, said something, spoke up years ago. A lot of these women did, y'all. They did, but because the people that they were accusing was pop were powerful and they were the little folk, nobody did anything. Half the time, nobody believed them. Just like a lot of us, when we first hear about this, we don't believe them. Just like with me and Morgan Freeman. With Morgan Freeman, they're going to have to try out the proof for me. And later on, I'm going to turn on the television and watch, you know, exactly what they say they got on old Morgan. Now, like I said, Harvey Weinstein, Bill Cosby, R. Kelly and Matt Lauer and some of these other men, I truly believe they were guilty. I truly believe that if they did it, whatever consequence they have to pay, that's on them because they should have kept their damn hands to themselves and their private parts in their pants. Because from what I know of people that have been through, you know, rape and sexual abuse or, you know, abused as a child, they never get the luxury of forgetting what happened to them. You know, they never get that luxury. They have to suffer with that knowledge every day. I have a parent, one of my parents, y'all, was sexually abused as a child. And I don't want to say which parent in case they ever watch this. They know which one they are. And that parent to this day lives with the after effects of what of what happened to them. So, you know, I kind of err on the side of the victim, you know, in the case. And that's just me. And I think it's because living, you know, growing up with um a survivor of sexual abuse, I was always, you know, asked, you know, are you okay when you're around this person? You know, my, that parent was worried for their children because it happened to them. I have family members who have been the victim of brutal rapes and how it affected them, y'all. So with that, I just, I just want to know what y'all think. You know, what do you think of these new accusations about Morgan Freeman? You know, for one, like I said, I, I just want to see the proof. I'm not saying the man couldn't have done it, but old Morgan, you know, for some reason, I don't know, y'all. I don't know. Harvey Weinstein, I'm glad they got your ass. Bill Cosby, I'm sorry. I love the Cosby show, but I think your ass was guilty. That's just how I feel, y'all. Sorry if you don't agree with me, but we're all entitled to our own opinion. But I want to know down in the comments what you think of the accusations against Morgan Freeman. I want to know, did you hear about old Harvey Weinstein? And also for all the people that when Bill Cosby was convicted that said they need to go after Harvey Weinstein, well, they got his ass, y'all. Because after watching that documentary that I watched of old Harvey, 
Harvey's ass, when this is tried, he's going to jail. Now, I think Bill Cosby might escape because, you know, due to his health and the fact that he's blind, I I don't know if he'll actually do time. But Harvey Weinstein, when they start trouting out those women and they start telling their stories, I think he's going to do some time. Y'all, when y'all know the power that he had and who he was in, in Hollywood and then to end up in a cell with none of the trappings of luxury that he is used to, this man might not make it, y'all, because... uh. You know, he has lived in the lap of luxury. And to be in the cell for, you know, 10, 15 years, that's going to damn near kill him. So in the comment section, y'all, let me know, you know, what you think of everything that I talked about. And um, again, I'm trying this Spreaker to see if I like it. So y'all, with that, thanks for watching the video. And I will catch you guys in the next one.